For millions upon millions of years, an invisible thread has linked all life on Earth, genes. They're not just abstract instructions, they're the vital blueprints nestled deep within every living cell, silently dictating how an organism looks, how it behaves, even how long it survives. But what are these cryptic codes we all carry? Genes are made from DNA, that elegant, spiraling molecule holding the story of life itself. Imagine a library of ancient scripts, each letter perfectly arranged, that's your DNA. Each gene within tells your cells how to build proteins, minute machines that make everything happen. Vision. Memory. Healing. Even your heartbeat. Without genes, there'd be no growth, no thought, no life as we know it. Yet DNA is as fragile as it is miraculous. Exposed to the world, it starts to break down almost as soon as life ends. The information, so critical to living, quickly begins to fade once death arrives. But nature provides surprises, under extraordinary conditions, locked in ice, buried under layers of earth. Or entombed in deep caves, fragments of DNA can survive, sometimes enduring for tens of thousands, or even a million years. Inside the frozen carcasses of mammoths, hidden in the hollows of ancient caves, or from bones pulled from tar pits. Researchers have meticulously coaxed scraps of long-lost DNA back into the light. With revolutionary modern tools, we can decode those delicate remains, piecing together the stories of creatures long vanished from the Earth. This is how we've learned what Neanderthals looked like, how they lived, and even which of their genes live on within us today. But DNA's endurance has its limits. After perhaps a few million years, the code falls silent. The sequence unravels, leaving behind no readable map, only subtle clues. This is why the notion of resurrecting dinosaurs from ancient DNA remains the stuff of fiction. What we do find are different markers, durable proteins, mineralized imprints, ghostly traces of life that hint at worlds lost to time, but without telling the full genetic story. Yet in another sense, genes are more enduring than any fossil. Their precise molecules may decay, but the information itself survives, leaping from parent to child, creature to creature, across the epochs. Some of your own genes stretch back billions of years, living echoes of ancient bacteria stitched into the fabric of all life. So when you contemplate the riddle of life, remember, genes are not just the text of the past, they are the living narrative of survival, a story still unfolding, written in you.